On our roads today, we often see regular cars with internal combustion engines, which are cheaper than the new electric vehicles that are starting to replace them. Governments worldwide are making efforts to reduce harmful CO2 emissions to protect our planet. One of the ways they're doing this is by promoting electric vehicles in the auto industry. Three major parts of the world, China, Europe, and America, are leading the way in supporting electric vehicles. However, they still face a problem that needs to be solved. Electric vehicles are more expensive than traditional diesel or petrol cars. Not because the technology is still developing, but because the materials needed to make electric vehicles are costly. Fortunately, China has an advantage in this regard. They have easy access to the raw materials required to produce electric vehicles, which means they don't have to rely on other countries to make their own vehicles. This helps them overcome the challenge of high costs associated with electric vehicles. Geely, a Chinese brand, has taken a bold step to tackle the high cost of electric vehicles by introducing a new car priced at $6,000. Who exactly is Geely, and is this car really worth its price? Let's explore how China has surprised the EV industry with this affordable $6,000 car. Currently, there are over 1.4 billion regular cars with internal combustion engines worldwide, and they contribute to the CO2 emissions harming our planet. However, the global auto industry is going through a significant transformation, and the rise of electric vehicles is playing a crucial role in reducing our reliance on oil. By 2030, Electrification is expected to eliminate the need for 5 million barrels of oil per day. In the past three years, the electric vehicle market share has skyrocketed. Sales of EVs have surpassed 10 million units, accounting for 14% of all new car sales. This is a remarkable leap from just 9% in 2021 and less than 5% in 2020. As a result, there were over 26 million electric cars on the roads globally in 2022 showing a staggering 60% increase from the previous year. Despite this impressive growth, experts predict that the electric vehicle industry is only getting started. By the end of 2023, it is projected that 14 million EVs will be sold, and electric cars could make up 18% of all car sales. With Geely's bold initiative, we may witness a significant shift in the adoption of electric vehicles, making them more accessible to people around the world, and accelerating the transition towards a greener future. The UK government has a plan to stop selling new petrol and diesel cars by 2035. Their goal is to bring down all greenhouse gas emissions to zero by 2050. Currently, there are 39 million vehicles on UK roads, but only 27,000 new electric cars were registered last year. It was discovered that if all cars in the UK were electric, carbon emissions would decrease by almost 12%. Interestingly, electric cars are not a new invention. In fact, back in the late 90s, 90% 90 of taxes in New York were electric. However, Henry Ford and others found ways to produce internal combustion engine cars in large quantities and at affordable prices. This shifted our idea of what a normal car should be. This is unfortunate for several reasons, especially because electric cars have a simpler design. They consist of electric motors, a battery, and a controller. This eliminates the complexity of moving mechanical parts found in internal combustion engines and associated technologies, as well as the energy needed to manufacture each part. Just like Henry Ford and other car manufacturers found a way to make affordable cars, Chinese EV makers have also discovered how to produce electric cars in large quantities while reducing production costs. China has a thriving automobile industry and easy access to raw materials which allows Chinese manufacturers to build cars quickly and at lower prices. These cars not only have attractive price points, but also come with great standard features. In fact, European consumers are seeking affordable electric vehicles, and Forvia's CEO, Patrick Collar, stated that China is producing good vehicles, making it difficult for Europe to stop importing them. This situation is even more concerning for Europe than for the United States. While the average price of electric cars has increased in Europe since 2015, dropping in China, making them cheaper than petrol cars. Chinese electric vehicle makers can produce cars at a lower cost due to lower research and development expenses, capital spending, and labor costs, compared to their European and American counterparts. Currently, China holds around 5.8% of Europe's electric vehicle market share, according to the French auto consultancy Innova. However, this share is expected to rise significantly in the coming years as Chinese brands introduce more lower-cost models. On the other hand, 
high duties imposed by the U.S. on Chinese-make vehicles have prevented China from gaining a significant share of the American car market. Many buyers have a preference for brands they are familiar with and trust, such as Toyota, Volkswagen, Audi, BMW, and Mercedes-Benz. Therefore, switching to Chinese car brands is a big leap for many consumers. Additionally, Chinese EVs have earned five-star safety ratings from European regulators, countering perceptions of lower quality. Geely Group's CEO has set an ambitious goal of selling 600,000 electric vehicles in 2023. Geely's plan includes micro-EVs, and their main competitor in this market is the Wuling Mini EV, which was the top-selling micro-EV in China. In 2022 alone, Wuling Mini EV sold over 554,000 vehicles, with total sales surpassing 1.1 million. When it comes to the design of Geely's Panda Mini EV, it follows a compact and boxy style similar to the Wuling Mini EV and Jitor ice cream. However, Geely has added some playful touches to the design. The Panda Mini EV features round headlights referred to as cute big eyes and bionic, while the side mirrors are called bare ears. The car has a generous amount of glass and an interesting rear window design. The blacked out pillars create a floating roof appearance and the doors and fenders have stylish oval stampings. Inside the cabin, you'll find a modern and clean dashboard. It comes standard with a sleek 9.2-inch instrument panel and an 8-inch central touchscreen that supports various functions, including camera, electric air conditioning, Bluetooth, and remote control. The center console features a rotary gear selector. Additionally, there is a fixed panoramic roof measuring 64 inches, allowing natural light into the cabin. The Panda Mini EV supports 22-kilowatt DC fast charging, enabling the battery to charge from 30% to 80% in just 30 minutes. Although it's a small car primarily designed for inner-city travel, it doesn't have a high horsepower output. The Panda Mini EV is equipped with a single electric motor powering the rear wheels, delivering 40 horsepower and 110 newton-meters of torque. There is also a lower-spec variant with 27 horsepower, and 85 newton meters of torque. The range varies depending on the version, with the 27 horsepower model offering 120 kilometers and the 40 horsepower model providing a range of 200 kilometers. The Panda Mini EV comes in different versions, with the least expensive one costing $5,800 and the fanciest one priced at $7,800. To put things into perspective, these prices are almost 49 times cheaper than some high-end computers like the MacBook Air Supreme Fire. The Panda Mini EV has become incredibly popular, and this has sparked intense competition among Chinese EV manufacturers. One of the cars in this race is the Wuling Bingo. It's a small electric car made by a company called SAICGM Wuling under the Wuling brand. The Wuling Bingo offers two different powertrain options. The basic version has 40 horsepower, which is enough to zip around town. But if you want some extra oomph, there's a more powerful version with 67 horsepower. However, regardless of which version you choose, the top speed is limited to 62 miles per hour. The Wuling Bingo gives you two choices. The first one is a smaller battery that has a capacity of 17.3 kilowatt hours. With this battery, you can drive up to 200 kilometers, about 124 miles, on a single charge according to a specific test cycle called NEDC. If you need more range, there's a larger battery with a capacity of 31.9 kilowatt hours. This one allows you to travel up to 330 kilometers, about 205 miles, before needing to recharge. If the number of affordable electric vehicles currently available in China were also present in Europe and America, the total sales of new electric vehicles in both continents would double.